Hey, what's up guys? It's Retta, and I'm just making this tutorial on how to fix your issues with crashing your game. Now, after this Warface update, there was a lot of users been talking about their game crashing randomly. And some people can't even play for a couple seconds at a time without it crashing, and it was unplayable. So basically, I believe the fix should work for almost everyone having this issue. But basically, it has to do with GeForce not communicating right with Warface. And it's only for Warface, as you can tell. I guarantee you can play other games if you're having this issue. So basically, to do this fix, you're going to completely uninstall your GeForce drivers. And to do this, we're going to use display driver uninstaller instead of going straight through your um, driver to fix it because sometimes that can leave behind some files and it's not a complete clean uninstall so basically first of all you're going to go to nvidia website it's going to be in the link and you're going to click drivers now you could automatically driver update don't do that just go ahead and go to geforce or whichever one you have some people might have a titan and you can figure out what series you have. I have a 960, so, or 980, whoops, at 980, you click it here, and this should be okay unless you have a 32-bit computer, which is rare in this generation. You start search, and it should be the one at the top because that is the quickest release, so you're gonna wanna download that, and click download. And once it's done installing, you're gonna to wanna to put it onto your desktop. So I can move it over here. It's almost done. Now I'm actually not gonna do the process myself because I'm not having this issue, but it, it has happened with other people. So I'll just put that on your desktop. That's your GeForce driver installer. So basically now what we're gonna do is completely uninstall your drivers. So we're gonna to go to this page, it's gonna be down in the link. Display driver uninstaller is a really popular program trusted by many computer experts and it's something I've been using for a while too and it's fixed a lot of issues so basically you're going to want to scroll down to this place where it says download locations and click download mirror US west coast and it should have started there it is okay move this to your desktop I'll do the desktop because it's pretty much the easiest. So open up the zip and you should have, whenever you run display driver, you're gonna click extract all and you wanna extract it to your desktop. So you can have a different folder because you can't really run anything in the actual zip file. So this is the actual folder. And once you run the, f run the program, let me see. Yeah, mine's actually an outdated version. So I'm downloading this new one and it's pretty good. So right here. Display on a driver exe. Now right here, what you're gonna wanna do is, it'll say you're not safe mode, but that doesn't really matter. Safe mode doesn't really help anything, but what we're gonna wanna do is clean and restart. Now, what this will do, it'll have a log, everything will start spamming, and it'll look like it's deleting everything on your computer, but don't worry, it's just your driver. Your driver for Nvidia. And even if you had AMD, you might, like, at one point and you switch, you might still have some stuff on there that you don't want or need. It might be doing some glitchy stuff with your graphics also. So once you do that, your computer will completely reinstall and uh, your restart. And then you're going to go over to what you your drivers over here and install them. And pretty much that's about it. So once you install your new drivers, you shouldn't have this problem anymore. And you should be good to go. And um, I hope this fix works for you. And uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.